Now let's create the deep structure. Before creating a deep structure based on the system design of your client company, first note on all the fields which we require in the header and the items level because those details can be changed based on the fields which are made mandatory optional in a particular set order. So if you are working along with the functional consultant, definitely you have to ask the functional consultant what are all the fields which are mandatory for creating the sales order and what all the fields are required. And if you don't have any functional consultant with you, you can simply ask the end user or you can try to create a sales order using the VS01 T code and identify all the data which are mandatory for creation of the sales order in that particular system. So based on that, the very first step is one should identify all the fields which are required. So based on the SAP system which I am using, I have made the field details here like I am going to create this sales order as a structure and I have the header field as VB ELN, customer ID, sales organization, distribution channel, division, PO number, PO date. Those are the single fields and after that here I am using the items as a table type. So inside the items table type, I have a separate structure that is a sales order number, item number, material, plant, storage location, quantity, sales unit, WBS element. And as you know, the sales order, we also have the item condition at the individual item level. So here under this header, we have one table type as the items and under items, we have one more table types that is item under so conditions and then next we have to create the condition table structure okay so you might be required to create some other table also based on your system requirement so this is the my uh, fields requirement and always start creating from the bottom level here in my scenario my bottom level structure is the item condition so first structure which I have to create in the SC element is the item condition. So go to SC element. Data type. Here I am giving as a Z cells underscore body underscore item C O N D that is item condition. Create. I am creating here the structure with the description sales order item conditions. Okay, the first which, which I required is VPLN, PostNAR, KPOSN. So let's go here, type VPLN. Second, I am using as PostNAR. Third field is KP OSN. The next field is KSCHL. Now, if you don't know the field name and domain name which is to be used, so as you know, this is the item condition. And for the item condition, there is a standard SAP table called as KONV. You can go to table of KONV and you can check the domain which is used in the, in the standard system and the same domain we can use in our structure. So here KPUSN is my third field that is a condition number, condition item number. Next I am going to add the KSCHL that is the condition type. KSCHL here my domain is also same and the last one is the item value that is a KWERT KWERT this is my last field in this structure save I am saving as local objects and this is my structure name Oh, for the currency field, we have to give 
the table name and the currency ID. Now save and activate. This time only warning message, no issue. So this way we have created our first structure for the item condition. Okay, so next as this is the structure, but in the item table, I have to add this as a table type. Okay, that is the TT uh, SO underscore item underscore CON. So how to create a table type? Go back to SCLN. Here, give the name Z T T S O underscore item underscore C O N D. I'm using complete word C N D condition. Create. This time we have to select the table type. Sales order item condition table type. Now, which line type you have to use? The structure which we have created in the previous step. So enter the structure here, press enter, save as a local object, activate. So this way I done with the table type for the item condition. Now next I have to create a structure for the sales order item. Okay, using all those fields. So now I'm going to create all these fields. So again, go to SC11. This time I'm creating the sales order item structure. Create, create a structure. Sales order item. Now I'm copying all the fields from my Excel file. That's why it is always better for us to make the list of all the fields in Excel. So here as I have created my table type with the COND. Okay, the KW mench doesn't have any structure. So we have to check the table, uh, the domain name in the VBAP table. Which domain is used for the KW mench? Control F. So for the KW mench, okay, the domain is same, the white is giving error. Maybe when I have field name is wrong, yes, I have added additional E. Okay, this is the quantity field. So for the quantity field, we have to give the reference table and the reference field name. We can use the same reference which is there into the VBAP table. Okay, so in this way, our structure for the line item is ready. Save. Check for any error. No error. I'm copying this structure name and activate. Okay, so this way we have done with the item condition and the items. Now next we have to create the main actual structure. Okay, so how we start? We have started from the bottom level. First we have created the item condition, then we have created the items table. Now we are creating the main structure. Now again go back to SC11. This time. I'm creating here Z sales underscore order. Create as a structure. One one step is I, I forgot to create one step. Let me go back. Okay, so before creating the sales order structure, we have to create a table type for the SO items. Okay, so we'll be creating the table type for the sales order item using the same structure. Go to SCL when ZTT underscore SO underscore item. 
create table type sales order items now the line type for this will be z sales underscore order underscore item okay so now my, my table type for the so item is also ready okay now i will create parent structure that is sales underscore order okay go back to ac11 now i will create the set sales underscore order as a structure Now let me copy all the fields from my excel file okay. so in this way we have done with the creation of db structure so now why it is called as a deep structure? Because in this main structure that is sales underscore header, I have some fields with the reference type and inside along with this, I have one item table, which is a table type. And inside this item table also, we have one more table that is called as the condition table. Okay, that's why those type of structures are known as the deep structure. So we have created our deep structure. Next, we will see how to create the resource forwarder class and the resource handle class.